Grand, they've now raised four hundred and fifty-one thousand seven hundred forty-six dollars. Uh, two grand. They've raised two grand since this morning. Since I start talking about this, not not have anything to do with us. I'm just saying, people are all over this, and people want to want to help this woman out. Daniel in Madisonville, you're on WRNO. Good morning, Daniel. Hey, good morning. I just want to tell y'all I listen to you every morning on iHeart I Radio. So it's a really great app, so I love listening to y'all even when I'm traveling. Thank you. We appreciate you. What do you got? Yes, sir. But I, I just want to tell you, like you, I could not watch the whole video. I thought it was really terrible, so I watched maybe two minutes. But I was trying to think, no one's talking about the bus driver. I mean, what was the bus driver doing the whole time these kids were verbally abusing this woman? I, that was one of my questions. And the other thing I wanted to say was I was reading an article, and the police captain has some of their, these kids' cell phones. And um, they're getting a thousand text messages a day, a thousand calls, death threats to 13 year olds. So they are kind of getting what's coming to them. But um, I just want to see what do you think about the bus driver? Are they going to interview the bus driver? Are they going to talk to that person? Well, from what I understand, the, uh, th these kids, this was regular behavior. And, and shame on, uh, you know, the school or if they didn't report it. I mean, somebody should have reported these kids and something should have been done. The woman who's supposed to prevent bullying of other kids right. is getting bullied. I, I got to imagine, the, and it's a woman who's the bus driver. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Well, she, what is she doing the whole time? Is, is she telling these kids, hey, leave, you know, leave this lady alone? Because this lady's there protecting the bus driver. Because yeah. I remember when I was in, in high school, I just graduated from LSU. When I was uh, in, in high school, we used to throw oranges at the bus driver. And we were terrible, but we didn't have a bus driver monitor. So this lady's protecting the bus driver, yeah. and the bus driver's doing nothing to protect the lady who's supposed to be protecting her. So I thought that was kind of crazy. Daniel, thanks for the call. Appreciate you tuning in. Why do kids act this way? What propels somebody to act in such a manner with F-bombs? And, and it's downright abuse.